I took a nap before stream. Now I'm feeling good. <laughs> And I'm even gonna be funny today, we'll see. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's just continue. We, we stopped last time when Arania was about to tell another story, and I was like, uh, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for another story. So, uh, let's continue from there, right? Um, gonna read the page from the top. Not not. that's how it works, right? Ah, great description, ah, great streamer, ah, A++. Arania, thank you for joining us, John. Commodore Nipita, or Commodore Nipita, and Rare Admiral Teferi have both been clamoring for one last tale, and I'm not one to disappoint. <laughs> ah, that's a good use for the Kella lore. <laughs> ah, yeah, more lore. Thanks, Arania. Teferi, smile, Nipita. Kip and smile. <laughs> clamoring, ass and clams texted. Uh, okay, well, uh, what's this one about? Ogre sex or salamander shipping or something? Nope, uh, though I would be happy to tell you all about those topics another time. This is a story about two legendary rings. Yeah, Binch Sky's still there. Bin Binch Sky's also still here. Uh, I have not yet had the time to replace it with something else. But yeah, the rings. Uh, PM and Chak, huh? Also, I, I, I... I mean, the, the entire, you know, theme of good versus evil, blah, blah, is, is all over Homestuck, also in, like, PM and Chak and all, all that stuff with the, the, the hate love and shit like that. <laughs> Very important for lore. I say, I love this, John. <laughs> Look at his little face, the crocodile smile. <laughs> it is Spartan. Welcome, welcome. No, not those rings. Oh. Not those rings, oh. The rings I'm talking about are less powerful and considerably more obscure. But for what they lack in power, they make up for in mystery. Details in the rings are quite hard to come by. I have pieced together what little I know from various fables and myths. They occasionally make appearances in such stories, serving different purposes in each tale and always called by different names. But in this story, they will be known as the Rings of Life and Void. Hmm. Sounds like class facts. To me. The rings are said to look nearly identical, but their powers are quite different, as are their origins. The Ring of Void supposedly owned once belonged to the Black Queen of a Void Session, but one day it was stolen from her by a thief, and then stolen again from the thief by a rogue. Sounds like class specs again! Legend would suggest it changed hands like this for like this for a long time thereafter, until finally vanishing into the void itself forever, which is fitting as though the ring grants its wearer the ability to do exactly the same. The Ring of Life has a very different story. I found no reports of an origin to this ring at all. Like many magic artifacts, it may not even have one which is comprehensible. Earliest reports I have read would suggest it was first discovered by some travelers in the desert and like its sister ring has changed repeatedly since. This ring, however, has a dramatically different effect. Instead of relegating the wearer to obscurity and immaterial... Immat Immaterialititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititititit
imagine if she actually accepted Tazi's proposal. Um. <laughs> Tavros! Uh, uh, what, what? What What did you do with that ring? What, what, what ring? Don't play dumb with me, that ring you had! You know the same one the orange guy tried to give me? Slampora was too much for him yet. <laughs> Honestly, it was just too much for anyone. <laughs> I still don't know about this orange guy you mention sometimes. You talk about orange guy, but in reality, he sounds probably fake. Like, all you thought Rufio used to be until facts proved he wasn't. <laughs> you actually think I'm making this up? I'm gonna make up a story about an orange guy. What kind of chewing I fuck up do you take me for? The orange guy was real. He's rounded by a bunch of stupid fucking horses and he tried to give me a ring. So I knocked him out cold and then later you found it. Uh, no, 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 I didn't. Yes, you did! Don't lie to me! You had to ring and you and Chan were fighting over it behind your back like a couple of idiots for a while. What? You think I didn't notice? Uh, yes. Uh, no, no, I, I didn't think you did. <laughs> well, I did, and I didn't be care because I didn't think the ring did jack shit. Ew. But, now that I think- I know it does jack a whole fucking lot! I would like you to stop behaving like a disingenuous, argumentative asshole and tell me where it is. I don't know where it is. It's 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 gone. What do you mean it's gone? <laughs> you guys really like dropped into something here, huh? <laughs> I had it, and then 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 John had it, and I, I wanted it back, but he wanted it also, so. We argued with our hands over it until he vanished, and I tried to find it in the ground because it was precious to me for a while. That's a beautiful. <laughs> what was it precious to you? Are you telling me you knew what it did? No, 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 I, I didn't. I just had separate reasons from that for wanting it. Well, whatever lame reasons you wanted that ring. Forget it. It's obviously a much more important magical item than I don't almost gave you credit for. As soon as we get the treasure out of this cave, you're going to lead us back to wherever you lost it and we're gonna look for it. Is that understood, Poop Master Nitrum? Is that understood, Poop Master Nitrum? No, uh, yes, I mean, yes, I comprehend the literal meaning of your yelling, but no. What, what do you mean, no? That was an order. I think you mean spirited angriness is making me remember to wonder why he would keep wanting to help you and like you? And I think it's making me think I don't I don't really care anymore about finding the ring or finding this treasure or how you do arguably evil things to ghost friends to get your objectives to happen. Tavris, what exactly are you trying to say? I think the bottom line of that is I don't want to be your poop master anymore. I'm not going to be. Yes! <laughs> Say no to her! Oh. <laughs> I thought she yeeted him. I thought she just grabbed him and yeeted him. <laughs> I mean, I would definitely see. I can see it happening that she just like grabs him and yeets him out. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Get back here! You can't just lie away from me like that! Oh, but but I can. You, you forgot about my secret weapon. Behold! The self-esteems! Self-esteems, my ass! I said get back here! If you go out there alone, you're gonna die, you pathetic piece of shit! I'll take my chances, you jerk! <laughs> yes! Yes! Terra's <laughs> go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at him. Fly! Oh! <laughs> yes, own it! Own it before you own it! Fly, papa, fly! <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> so clever. I referenced them for once. This is going for a remarks directed at me. <laughs> it's so sick, it's so sick. <laughs> We can all hear you whispering from down here, shit for brains! Hey, Tavros, wait up. I think I'm coming with you. What? No, Solux, wait! Nah, I've pretty much had it too. I can't believe I went along with this for as long as I 
did so, yeah, I'll be fuck two ways from Perry G the eve before I let Tavros upstage me in the backbone department. Right here, sorry, I can't be a part of this anymore. It's just making me feel dirty. I understand, so looks. Let's catch up again later, hopefully when this is all over. Yeah. Oh, the fairy and the Pita will be coming with me too. What? No, they fucking... They oh yeah, she, she gets upset, which is why she puts eights into weird places. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, they fucking won't. Yes, they will. They just told me. I didn't hear them say shit. They both gave me meaningful glances, like as if to say, ah, yeah, let, let, let's bounce. Uh, it's just like, <laughs> it's just like Hussey, like joking about the fact that they didn't do anything meaningful in the comic and just died and now they're not even saying shit anymore. <laughs> So this is where they're just like, mm, wink, and, and, mm, wink. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're blind. How could you see a meaningful glance? Instead of underestimating the perspicacity. What? Perspicacity of the sensory impaired. Why don't you bite me? They can't go. Commodore Nepita and Rear Admiral Feferi are both critical members of my crew. This is mutiny. Riska, I'm on your side. Uh, Riska, I'm on your side here. But I feel I should point out that technically they both outrank you. Excuse me? No, they don't. Come on. I just gave them titles that sounded cool. How can you outrank a captain? By being a Commodore? A Commodore outranks a captain? Yeah, afraid so. Yes, and the rear admiral ranks a Commodore. No, but I, I thought rear admiral was like some sort of choke rank. Wait, uh, I gotta read what you guys are saying. Uh, even though arguably for fairy did one of the most important things, she's the reason the dream bubbles exist. Oh, yeah. Just gonna know how to name your ranks for me. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't know either. Tenshi Pokemon fans who like them want to see them more in the story. <laughs> I mean, they're there. They're not really doing anything, I guess. <laughs> who, can, uh, who can take a rare admiral seriously? It might as well be a poop master. Um, no, sir. It's actually a real thing. Goddamn for a pirate. You really know fuck all about nautical junk. Pretty embarrassing, to be honest. Yeah, this stuff is all super interesting. Check her losers anyway. We're out. Oh. <laughs> there you go! Goodbye! They ascend! <laughs> oh, uh, recursive. No, no, no they, nobody mentioned it, but I did remember that you said something about that. So I mentioned the thing with the last animated page. Uh, what, what was that? Which page? I can just jump to it. Wait. Didn't I have it open? No, apparently not. Or here? No, that's a different thing. I was rereading um the first intermission, which is why this is open. <laughs> Back to like 10-ish. Uh I think. Okay. Uh wait. Jump. We are 6046. 6010. Ah, there was the wank wank. Or like like tennis. Ah, uh, you meant that. Okay, wait. Sorry. Um, sixty thirty. Yeah. This here. Replay. Slide. Oh, why? <laughs> okay. <laughs> why? Why? Why are you? Why are you not giving me the choice anymore? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Why? Why? Yeah. Why? Why not? Come on. <sighs> okay. Sixty forty-six. There you go. Ah, oh, beautiful. Goodbye.
I love seeing them ascend again. Oh, why was I why was I scared? What? <laughs> Do the same for this page we are coincidentally on right now, okay. No, 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 no. It's gone. It's fucking gone. <laughs> Ladies. It's under the volume, what? Oh, shit, wait. Ah, okay. Ah, a third time. Beautiful. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Nah. <laughs> Boner. Oh. Boner. Can I can I do this again? I want to hear the boner again. I want to see I want to hear Nick Cage say boner again because it's little funny memes. Boner. Ah, oh, thank you. Boner. Good riddance, you backstabbing ingrates. Outboard English beats you all. A risk off. What? Actually, y y you know that, right? What about it? I have it now. You do? Where? Let me see. Though so I, I mean, the RB. I, I guess I wasn't wearing it when I fell asleep. I, it seems to have the power to come with me in and out of my dreams as long as I'm wearing it. That's how I got it in the first place. I had it on me. I had it on when I woke up. You were wearing it? Why? And why were you playing keep away with it in the first place? I mean, aside from the obvious fact that messing with Tauros is its own hilarious reward. <laughs> I, I don't know. I guess I liked it. I, I just wanted to hang on to it for some reason, but I didn't know I would wake up with it. This is perfect. It means all you have to do is put it on when you wake up, then come find the me the next time you go to sleep. Yeah, baby. Maybe? I'll think about it. <laughs> You'll think about it? Oh yeah, it sounds like an important item, so deciding what to do with it is kind of a big responsibility. It's supposed to bring ghosts back to life, but we don't know how it works. What if it only keeps you alive as long as you're wearing it? I want to mean only one ghost could come back. Right. What a better reason to let me use it. But there are a lot of ghosts. I'm not sure what to do yet. Wait. You're not actually thinking of giving it to someone else, are you? That's my ring. The orange guy gave it to me. Yeah, well, frankly, I don't give a shit about the orange guy. The ring is fine for now, so I'm the one who has to figure out what to do with it. Speaking of waking up, I, it's probably time I got going too. I don't try to join the mutiny or anything, but I do have friends waiting for me out there. John, wait, I hope you're not parting on bad terms here. You aren't holding all this treasure hunting shit against me like Tavros is, right? You're still cool, right, John? Uh... If you have to leave, I get that, but I really want us to stay friends. I always felt like we had a special bond, John. Like, we're both always in position of having to take charge as leaders, even if we never ask for that responsibility. And I don't want to pressure you into anything, but I would really appreciate it if you'd at least Think about me next time you take a nap with the ring on. It's fine. We, we can't stay friends. I don't really like to make enemies with people, even if they're... Even if they're what? Um... <laughs> it's the Pantus show again. Verse Kai, I have to be honest. Years ago when we first talked, it was a lot of fun to get to know you. And I admit... <laughs> In the background, they just noticed it. <laughs> <clears throat> I admit, I thought about you a lot, Steph, but I guess I never quite realized how little I actually understood you. During this crazy treasure quest, I tried to reserve judgment, like maybe it was just a troll thing I did again. But seeing how those other guys felt about it, I think it's more complicated than that. At least you know all trolls are like you, and I know I'm not. Maybe this was all for a good cause, but it still felt like a pretty fucked up way to go about it, and all I'm saying is I'm ready to go. I've seen it off, and I miss my friends. 
I'll think about what to do with the ring, but honestly, honestly, what? Again, uh, I'm just keeping it real. But if I really think about hard about who I should bring back to life, I don't know if my conscience can just bring back someone so dangerous. Very valid, John. Very valid. Oh no. <laughs> Fine. Don't give me the ring then. Actually, you know what? Even if you change your mind someday, forget it. I don't even want it anymore. Oh, playing the. Oh, I don't even want it anymore, game. Y you don't? No, I've been dead this long. What's a little longer? Keep your ring. I don't want anyone's pity, so beat it, Eckbird. Well? Huh? John, I thought you were leaving. Alright, oh, I, I guess I'll just be. What are you, fucking idiot? Don't go yet! Uh, what? <sighs> Look, you made yourself perfectly clear. You think I'm a heartless monster and you don't want to help me out. Whatever. But are you seriously going to check out of this dream like two minutes before you see what the treasure is? Holy crap, dude. With your sense of curiosity, if I can manage to put with, with you for a little longer, I think you can stand my morally bankrupt company long enough to find out what this thing is. I'm the only person in paradox space who actually thinks! Uh, sure. I guess I'll go a little further and check out the treasure. <laughs> You're right, it would be dumb not to. Good. Legendary speed ring coming. <laughs> this robe, oh. Party's over, folks. The pirate playtime regular chambery was fun while it lasted, but it's time to get serious. Ooh. The treasure's down there. If my guess is right, it should be buried in one of his ancient memories. And now all we've, been, all, we've all been went back to hell and back by my dear ancestor, so I'll trust nobody's gonna mind indulging one of my in one of my stories. Or one of my stories. There was a pretty good yarn about this treasure I read once during our travels. Found it in some damn memory, who knows? Risk a tantrum. <laughs> but hey, it's a cool accent. <laughs> it's burning, it's in flames, it's cool. Yay! <laughs> it was a good read. Impeccable heroes. Failing to do it justice would be a real matter of gray morality here, if you ask me. But right now, I ain't in the mood to figure out how not to make it fucking suck. So I'll just say this. It was supposedly a weapon that once belonged to him, but he could never use it without altering its nature. Meaning he could only use it once, so he did. After that, it could only be used again one more time, and only as a weapon against him. Knowing it was one of the keys to his defeat, he had it locked away deep in the void. That's it. Part one of my story. Hold your applause. Guess we'll find out if that's true, or if it turns out all my despicable shit was in vain. Not that it would even matter to some people, but you know, they can say whatever they want about me, but somewhere out there is a shimmering new universe growing in a big ball of water. He's looking hell's fantastic, amphibious and resplendent. His glorious croak would bring you to your knees. The universe is going to give life to billions of trillions of zillions of cute little aliens. You wouldn't even believe how pretty and wonderful and happy all these aliens will be. It's making your lip tremble at just thinking about them and how worth saving they are. Wow. You could walk up to one of those aliens and put your hand on its innocent shoulder and with a straight face you could say sorry to break it to you, but tomorrow a guy named Lord English is going to destroy your universe. You are all going to die. And when that alien looks up to you, at you with tears in its eyes, just before the first one rolls down its weird alien cheek, you lean in close to its absurd alien ear and whisper, psych. That's because, you know, a long time ago in an obscure pocket of reality, the alien could never understand or give a shit about. Some crazy girl sacrificed the lives of a bunch of ghosts in order to kill the guy forever. There are already a million sweeps past their prime, existing on borrowed time, luxuriating in a kind of bizarre metaphysical longevity few others will ever enjoy. Just a fresh batch of bait the squid god <laughs> squid gods kept an eyes for an insatiable fisherman cause they were sick of being hunted themselves those ghosts were all that stood in the way of an end to this eternal holocaust and sparing their souls ain't different in my view from personally committing atrocities on a cosmic fucking scale i only ever wanted to do the right thing no matter how it made people judge me and i don't need a magic ring to do that you don't have to be alive to make yourself relevant and you don't have to be a good person to be a hero you just have to know who you are and stay true to that so i'm going to keep fighting for people the only way i ever knew how mm -hmm. this is a good paragraph honestly <laughs> This is a very iconic quote, yeah. You don't have to be a good guy, person to be a hero. 
cool panel by being me. That's one. F yeah, yeah. She's always stayed true to herself. That is that is correct. Dot 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 dot. Many dots. Wait, let me let me look at this further. Cantown. This is a map of Cantown. <laughs> Can I? <laughs> Rose, are you willfully ignoring my trail of finish crumbs? Hmm? I set them quietly in set sequence to convey one of your human pregnant pauses before speaking. <laughs> the pause was human expecting in the same sense that I am expecting an explanation for your present conduct. You are to meet the others on the roof by now. Kanaya, was it this pregnancy shit? <laughs> Shay, are you trying to tell me something? I'm trying to tell uh, to tell you that we are on the verge of reaching our destination, and here I find you doing. What are you doing exactly? By civic duty, <laughs> I've been disputized by the mayor as the assistant chief deputy of city planning and persuasion. Can I let you say that? <laughs> <clears throat> what? Kanya. Kanya. <laughs> I'm really swamped in red tape here. Do you think you could please return when I'm now so busy? Thanks. Exclamation point. Oh no, shout pool, I mean. Either that or file a requisition form with the zoning bureau. You have been drinking your soporifics in excess again. Rose, this is terrible. Now I will be ter terrible if we bid farewell to this meteor before my critical administrative work is complete. No, but really, what are you doing here in the tiny simulated village? Are you... Are you writing numbers on all these nutrition cylinders? Laugh. God, I just love troll words for things. Yes. You have mentioned this. Nutrition cylinders, that's a good one. I forgot about that one. Maybe cylinders and cylinder enough, though. What about tall circles? Tall circles. Awake? Tall circles. No, that sucks. Answer my question, please. Why are you numbering the tall cir- Cans. Hi, I'm Dirk Hermit to their original location, so... I might we relocate to the city faithfully to our new home. Wherever it may be. You want to relo relocate the city? Now? This is such a foolish use of your time. Yeah, she seems to be getting tired of this in her own very much Kanaya way. Which is very polite, very proper, very kind. <laughs> Although you could not be further from to the truth than... Preservation of Cantown has tremendous bullying importance. So wasted in Roll's eyes. We are all that's left of our respective races, can I? We are the light of civilization. It is our responsibility to carry the torch through the abyss while us keeping it lit. And set it poop on the air here. The nude world. Nude world. <laughs> Still hate that they lost 90% of their chemistry as soon as they actually met. I mean, yeah. Or we just haven't really observed it, you know? I don't know. I think the torch is not all you have managed to keep lit. It's light. Our light will spread throughout our creation, but only Kayaka. Only if we respect the light of civilization itself. If we respect the light of democracy. Dot, 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 dot. So many finished crumbs up in here. Civility, liberty, reason, education, civility, nationality, learning, justice, liberty, honor, condition, civility, reason. These are the virtues which employ the magnificence of that is can't out. Maybe only get small snapshots of the three years they spent together. Also, maybe it is, you know. Can I, uh, um, if I remember correctly, read the walkthrough that Rose wrote, and I, I remembered the entire, you know, when 
she pictured Rose as a troll and kind of uh, thought she was super smart and all that. And Rose is smart, but it's also a little bit of a never meet your heroes kind of thing, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just always different to, you know, actually meet someone instead of, you know, writing to them. <laughs> Drunk Rose is great, as you know, problem here. I also agree with that statement. You said some of those words two or three times, and most of them weren't words. Ha! <laughs> I just got it. Ash not all you managed to keep lit. Pepper was sick! <laughs> yeah, love it. The interactions were always bold. I still really like their interactions, that is true. I do not believe this. You promised me you would be ready for our arrival. I am ready. My car rubs on and everything. This is not ready. When I said ready, I believe your sobriety was more than implied as the operative operative criterion. Just keeping to where they barely have any chemistry is charring. They used to play off of each other so well. Mm, I am. I just think we we got less of these like dialogues, and they got to know each other at this point. I mean, I, I, I'm not really bothered by this. I still see that they have some, like, chemistry, but th there's also a lot of characters at this point in Homestuck. Earlier, we, we had way less characters to focus on and way more uh, interactions between the single characters, but at this point, it's... I mean, I admire Hussey for juggling all of these characters <laughs> in general because there's so many, but of course, there have to be, like, cuts made. <laughs> Just because Rose is wasted, her snark's gone. Yeah, that is very much true. I I still wonder why she started drinking. I, it has this been explained? I don't think it has been explained yet. Yeah, this, the snark is a key component for why her with Kanai were so fun. Maybe also, you know, the, the, the entire um, fact that she like saw her mom be killed and stuff like that. It was kind of a turning point for her. And might have influenced something. <laughs> <laughs> Ganasta, he's a wordy. Ugh, I have been as polite as I can be, but honestly, your demeanor is not nearly as charming as you appear to believe when you have consumed a lot of that liquid. You have assured me that chronic and habitual exploitation of the substance is not a problem for your people, but at this point, I must conclude that you were lying. Why? Why? Why, Why did you do this just before our arrival when you told me you wouldn't? Oh. Uh. I wasn't going to, but I started to think about everything, about meeting my mom, and his trial getting nervous. But you can't help us like this. We need you. You're the smartest one on this meteor, by quite a lot. Hey now, why I'm flattered, but I think you might be selling the mayor short. What? This guy. Let me tell you, this guy is the best. Okay, that was literally the most inebriated thing I've ever said. Oh no. <laughs> no, but Kakaya! <laughs> the mayor, I'm telling you, the fucking mayor! What a friend! You are not actually suggesting the simple creature dressed in rags is your intellectual superior. And if I am? How would one even draw this conclusion? He does not speak. Oh, he has his ways of letting his thoughts be known. He has his ways. He does not have his ways. He likes cans and little pretend cities. And he's rather adorable, and that is pretty much all there is to say about the mayor. He sort of distract from important issues with talk of fake mayors. What issues? And this crashing with alcohol? Assumption else. I'm sensing we're a tap toy around a mix back of delicate subjects. Let's talk about him. This is not a hypothetical exercise in your earth psych psy psy psychiatrics. You made a promise to me and you did not keep it. Yes, you are usually very smart and we all need you. But more importantly, I need you. Don't you remember? You said you would help me resurrect my species. I still don't know how I'm going to acquire a new matriarb. How are we supposed to solve the problem when your think plan is addled so? Kamaya, why do we go hazy on the shelves? I told you to relax about the metri bob. Has some faith in us that we're going to make everything work out. I have a very good feeling. I think we'll all be fine. 
mean? That is not reassuring coming from you like this. I often can't tell, even at your most lucid, if you put too much trust in your searing abilities. But when you say such things while obscured by these toxins, you sound outright delusional. You stumble around this lab in such high spirits, which makes it impossible to broach the subject from a standpoint of mutual agreement that your behavior is a problem. But if I'm always happy, then why is it a problem? Ugh, you see? I'm not falling, I would like to. Wait, am I. Have I been a. Have I been being a bitch to you without realizing? Oh no. No, not exactly. I have already explained. You have severely hobbled your intellect and your eff efficacy. <clears throat> the objectives you prioritize have become ridiculous. I've just now decided to draw a map of a false metropolis. The objectives you prioritize have become ridiculous. You've just... Uh, mm -mm, wait, I think I skipped lines. Others have suffered as well. Whatever happened to your concern for Teresi and Gamsi? For all my lessons in auspicism for nothing? I try. I try kakaka. <laughs> but I should... I should spit... Skizm? Oh, every... Is actually really hard. I know it's hard. It's supposed to be hard. And my name's not Kakaka. Oops, I'm sorry, Yakaya. Uh, Kayola? Mm, papaya? <laughs> Shit. Name's the lovey. Why can't I say it? You cannot say it because you're human drunk. Dot, 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 dot. You're right. My delinquency has been inexcusable. If you just help me fish indexing and gaffing up the rest of these cans, we. The barber! No. Wait. Which one? The barber's fun, fun salamander memorial library! Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Comma comma dot. Dot 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 comma dot 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 Are you going to break up with me? Oh god <laughs> no, no, Kanaya Kanaya's angry oh no oh no she's gonna explode oh shit mm -hmm. take cover mm. There she goes <laughs> Beautiful panel. Enki! <laughs> Enki! Act 6, Intermission 5, Intermission 4. Oh, I'm so glad I, I read Intermission uh, 1 again. Uh, it didn't really make a lot more sense now, but I understood a couple more things, I guess. <laughs> also, why does this look like German flag in the background? I need more answers, very quickly. I thought you had given up on getting answers from me. No, I just have not had time. The bomb countdowns are getting so short, this is getting hard, it's not fair. I really don't see how it's any less fair than being allowed to solicit the omniscient narrator of your quest for answers. Nobody else who plays this game gets to do that. What makes you so special? But you're the one who said it was special. I shouldn't have said that. Now you're strutting around all thinking you're special. I am special! I know. Let's bullshit more answers. I have collected more frogman. What do they do? Frogman? Getting really esoteric with your headcanons now. Now what? Now what makes you so sure they're all men? Have you sexed them? Fuck you! And your ribald insinuations, my relationship with the frogman is strict and professional. No, I mean determined to their sex. Do you even know how? I don't care. They're all men because they say they are and I want them to be. I believe hard enough in them being men. And that fact becomes absolutely indisput indisputable as a permanent man reality. Hmm. White man logic. It does? Are you telling me I have reason to believe that my entourage of distinguished gentlemen consists of anything other than boys? No, I mean, I don't know. I'm not there, so I can't sex them to be sure. You fucking pervert! That's not what sexing means, you little shit. I'd like to change the topic away from the lust you're feeling for my handsome frogman. 
I have obtained some stripe hats. Yellow stripe hat, blue stripe hat, red stripe hat. What did it do? Why do you always want me to spoil stuff for you? Why can't you be at least a little scientifically inquisitive and find out what they can do yourself? Have you tried entering blue stripe hat yet? No. Why would I have hurt him? He's my lawyer minion, albeit one who is overweight and apparently useless. Anyway, I don't have time for science, just tell me. As a YouTube comment once wisely said, Lord English is why I love well developed and powerful villains, colorborn is why I can't. Fine. Blue stripe hat randomly time travels somewhere to injure him. Red stripe hat can also travel through time. But only using fire as a gateway. Yellow stripe hat as a tailor. I'm so glad I reread into mission one last week after this stream. Fine. Blue stripe hat random um no. A tailor. Yes, he means someone who sews stuff. Yes, a damn good one too. That's not a power, it's more like a fucking hobby. Which has no value to me whatsoever. If you want to be a big shot, big shot! Big shot! Big shot! <laughs> if you want to be a big shot time traveler, you're going to need a good tailor. Everyone knows that. No, makes no sense. What if someday you get some sweet new threads? Who will maintain your wardrobe for you? Do you think you'll wear that t-shirt and those stupid suspenders all your life? I would never stop wearing my awesome suspenders. I guess? No one can make me. Not even my tailor. Whatever you say. You waste some time again. Uh, time again. Better hurry up and conquer this planet so you can find eggs. What? Oops, I mean purple stripe head. Forget I called him that. Oh yes. I'm really looking forward to these next few guys. I have a feeling the farther I go, the more useful and exciting the frogmen are starting to be. You won't be disappointed. End of Act 6 in Mission 5 in Mission 4! Carlos, <sighs> hello! Hey, Miracles! It's Carlos Miraculous! <laughs> Uh, I lean back from the screen. Ah, uh, there was. Okay, he cut the chat. I guess. Uh, I guess I can just click this one regularly. Now what use could you possibly have for the color? Ah! Hong. I don't know what he's gonna do with the cone. Maybe he's gonna sniff it. I don't know. Psst. Go guy. Wait. <laughs> Not the other weenie and blue pea chase. Yes, you come here. Listen, I have a problem. What? Now we both know someday I'm gonna be the one who swindle you out of the life ring. We do? Yeah, shit is inevitable and we all know it. Dot, dot, dot. Okay. I like priceless treasure. You got priceless treasure. My fucking hero title deal all my fucking hero title deal all but guarantees I'll steal it from you someday. And I'll come back to life so I can rip shit up in the real world and get all the gold and make all my all y'all my slaves and rule everything forever. I see. Just for problem though. What's that? I don't know that wanna. Hmm. Oh, I but I guess that sells that. No, but you don't understand. If I ganked your ring and put it on and became not a ghost anymore, I'd have to hit the road and conquer stuff. I would miss my friends. And, uh, don't. No, 
Oh, but while you aren't listening, I can't even handle it. Thank you, but ditching my friends. They, they meant so much for me since I've been dead. You feel me, Blue Dweeb? Yes, uh, my friends mean a lot to me, too. Circuit twins, they just, uh, look at them. So dis disgustingly adorbs together. All liking each other and being like each other in chunk. I, I don't think I could take it. I'm ready to say fair shell. Reason number 612. <laughs> 612, I see what he did there. I love me now, this combo. Oh no! Oh no, he's dying! Oh, that lady out! Yeah. Mm, out! <laughs> I mean, he is all like learning to be in scrupulous, never thought the girl had it in her. Makes you so club and proud. A strange blow hole, but it's still listening. Don't tell her I said that. So, but I like hearing her so happy. Like, she's just a damn place to hear herself yak about dumb shit on the other the flipper. And did you love risk of stories are punchy and hammy as fuck? I'll think she in the movies or something, Lamau. Mad out diffs at first, but really, she's so badass. He's just looking away. I shall pause that I've been off to give no fucks about she is. All I ever wanted from my posse was some Bobby I could fuck it with. I mean, without being a psychopath, it's gang. What I mean, you know what I mean? Uh, no. As for stuff, Carmaggy, they're like, yeah, um, this bitch, I could take her leave. I don't know, she's all right, I guess. Oh god. <laughs> He's just grabbing him, shaking him. <laughs> And right, it's a necessary comic relief for all the series. Yeah, th this is exactly what Homestuck does. Homestuck is never like too serious, at least wasn't so far. But the point is, Blue Jump, I'm, I'm happy now. Like, when I was on the moon with my sweet gold statues and shit, and what did I think I'll be if I gotta be alive again and have to go knocking our galaxies or whatever to make a bomb new fish queen empire? But it's killing me, Blue Schmuck. It's killing me to know you got the ring and know and I'll have to take it from you someday. Ugh, why? Why oh, you have to swim in and present me with this cutful, cut awful dilemma? Why oh, you have to be so lame and chumpy and such an obvious mark? You dark ass face just screams, ah, give me a fucking wedgie, take me a ring. But I don't wanna, I, I don't wanna, but I think, God, it doesn't mean, come on, obviously it's mine, just why? Why, 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 why? Okay, geez, I promise, no matter what, I'll only have the ring. I'll hide it or something, or better yet, I'll just give it to someone else before you get the chance to steal it. How does that sound? Causality and shit, dear John. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Another flash. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Match flips. Uh, I lost the color. Ooh. Can I click this? Oh, 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 oh my god, so many! Ah! So many! So many! Ah! Holy shit! Oh my god, they multiply! Oh my god, there's so many! There's so many! Eh. Oh. oh god, I'm scared of clicking that. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if volume warning, but we'll see. Oh, okay. I'm so glad. Ah, boner. Ah, ah, I'm so glad I can see Chon fucking do flips again. Beautiful. Okay. Hey, you guys, hurry up. This is seriously some of the most hot ass trash hunting I've ever seen. I got it coming. Always click the nick. So the trash is a death chest? Yeah. Ah, uh, you gotta tell us more about it yet. Yes, that was going to be part two of my story, which starts right now. This thing is some sort of juju. As I'm sure you know by now, juju's are magic items that can do all sorts of things. And time and space trap souls inside them, stuff like that. The more potent juju's tend to be pretty, uh, the more potent juju's tend to be pretty versatile. I doubt even he knew the full extent of its powers. He's probably got this thing as a boon for slaying a very power powerful denizen, as if the guy even needed any more sick end game rewards. That's what I'm gonna say for a moment, since I'm sure everyone is dying to see it by now. Only a complete asshole would make us wait any longer to get a look at this thing. <sighs> Only a complete asshole. Mm? Mm? 
At the frisk of sassy flourish of dramatic irony, it suddenly becomes evident to anyone with a brain that we aren't going to see what the treasure is for hundreds if not thousands of pages. So why don't we stop wasting everyone's time, shut the lid on this lousy MacGuffin and be with a right bubbles fun salamander? <laughs> Friska Angie. Probably Friska out of spite for being rejected. Be wise, right bubbles fun salamander. Ah, oh, beautiful. We are now wise, right bubbles fun salamander. Oh, it's been a while since we had text in this format, huh? Viseroy Bubbles from Salamancer, do the silly dance! Oh yes, you kick your adventure off to a phenomenal start of life liveliest chick you have ever attempted. Gee, liveliest chick, I guess. Your little legs could use the workout after being cooped up on that ship for three years. Wait, shouldn't Casey have reached adulthood in that time frame? At least gotten somewhat bigger. I seem to recall from earlier somewhere that the salamanders have a short have short life span life sh life springs and grow up quickly. Oh well, he decides to graciously disregard the one and only plot hole in this elaborate tale. <laughs> in fact, you think you will use the dark sorcery to make it boop, disappear. Mm -hmm. What problem? You are so excited for this side quest to begin. It's going to be almost as delightful as it is thorough and almost as thorough as it is relevant. Oh god, I already forgot the name. Viseroy... Blah blah from Salamander. Bubbles. Bubbles Bubbles von Salamander. Viseroy Bubbles von Salamander. Uh, Salamander. Singular. Retrieve arms from rope. <laughs> what a glorious image. You treat your adorable amphibious arms from your rack of demons, and in doing so, you reveal them to be adorably grasping the dreaded crook of frailty. No young salamander should dabble into dark arts without one. You twirl the grim cudgel in your in the air and begin to disturb ancient spirits from their slumber. In spite of necromancy's notoriously bunkers fakeness attribute, you begin to cast a spell. Viceroy Bubbles von Salamander, summon on dead army. Ah, my voice did a crack there, army. You're back in a horrifying cater of skeletal friends. They lurk, uh, they lurch, or lurk, mm -hmm. lurch, I guess, from the mountains to serve their dark master. You're so happy to see them. You start to blow some sinister friendship bubble, bubble, blah, 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 blah. blah. Fun fact, you can't say the word bubbles angrily. Just try it. <gasps> bubbles! <laughs> <laughs> you look at all this, these skeletons and think to yourself, this is probably going to be really important later on. Because that's what happens in adventures. A think thing happens, then you forget about the thing for a while, but it turns out to be important down the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how this comic has been going so far. Like, some heroes will be fighting a bad guy and things will look bleak for them, but then out of nowhere the skeleton army will arrive as reinforcements or something, thus turning the tide of battle. And you go, aha! So that's why that little salamander summoned so much those skeletons. Everything makes sense now, and in retrospect, and is elegant in its simplicity. Fuck you! <laughs> oh, oh, Riska's showing up. Fuck you! Please don't interrupt. We are trying to enjoy an important subplot. Now, where were we? Oh, look, one of the skeletons has stepped forward to introduce himself, but the skeleton doesn't have a name. You should, you should give him one. What will you name the skeleton? <gasps> Clatterswerve, Bone Bone, Captain Nibbles, Fossil B, Aldington III, Mr. Rips, or Scullion Malone. Viseroy, Bubbles, Von Salamander. Bone Bone! Bone Bone! You declare this loyal follower to be Bone Bone. Bone Bone is it's like Moon Moon. <laughs> Bone Bone is pleased with his gentlemanly appellation. Hang on, another skeleton approaches approaches to receive a title. In fact, it looks like they all want names. They decide to name them all one by one. Fuck you! Just ignore her. She had her chance to be important, but turn the offer down. The rest of us are just trying to get on with our lives. Now, what will I name the next skeleton? Fuck you, 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 fuck you! Viceroy Bubbles found Salamander shield young amphibious ears from from Fanny. What's your profanity? Oh, it, it, <laughs> it literally uh, blocked the it fuck you. Specifically, the it fuck you. The name was okay, but it fuck you was not. Mm. 
Oh, <laughs> very angry. Oh no! Oh fuck no! They're going to look at what it's what's in this chest right now. Do you hear me, you fuck? I didn't scrape and claw my way back to revel relevance for this shit. I'm doing something fucking important, and when I do something fucking important, everybody better damn pay pay well pay attention to me. What? <laughs> Smile. You don't think I'm onto you by now? As if I can't sense when you some sort of bullfuckery to fight. You don't think I'm as your fucking games? What is she talking to? Mm -hmm. I love how from the perspective of everyone else, Riska's trying to shit fit for literally no reason. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, try and fuck with us some more. I mean, they they literally said that they can't see Hossi or don't don't know what she's talking about. So, mm -hmm. or like he they, he doesn't matter to them or shit. Everyone here wants to know what's in this chest. So that's exactly what they're gonna see. There's probably some ideal way for me to reveal this thing to make it seem co as cool as possible. But you know what? I don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna dump it out on the floor right here now. Dump. Oh. Oh. There. Fucking there. Ta-da! Wow, when they look at that, it's a fucking treasure. Looks like some kind of human house-shaped thing. Holy shit, didn't see that coming. Now you wanna hold your fucking horses by I right, let's explain some more shit about it. Oh, here fucking goes! Hmm. I don't know, it looks familiar to me. <laughs> right. <laughs> John with those stupid mouth, it's so good. Radio probably knows something, but she's just vibing, yeah. Hmm. I don't know, I think I've seen this somewhere before. I don't know where, don't know when, but mmm. Looks important. Oh god, look at that. <laughs> I, I know I'd say this over and over, but I fucking love when Homestuck is doing this exact thing with the leggies. It's so funny. Oh god. After the guy used it that one time, it became totally intangible. So we can't touch it or pick it up. That's why we brought the radio along, so she can make it levitate or whatever. If you bring it near him, it's supposed to be to activate again or something. That's how you use it as a weapon, I guess. But that's all I know. They you like that, you fuck? Do you like how it just took the fucking piss out of that cool, mysterious treasure? <laughs> Do you like getting owned? Because that's what just got owned. So why did you suck it? Oh god, she's screaming. Suck it! <laughs> oh, she's, she's, she's sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too, John. We know too. <laughs> Nobody else knows why she just started doing that shit. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Smile. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what the crazy outburst was about. I think I'll just let that one go. Look, you say this little house thing is intangible? Yes. So I can't touch it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what intangible means. What happens if I try? I don't know if I would do that if I were you. Ah, I'm not too worried. It's just my dream hologram self or some nonsense. How many times has made a step me with a fork? Not enough, Blue Stitch. Not enough by not a mile. But I always wake up fine. <laughs> it's not just about you, John. This is not a very powerful juju. It'd be messing with some forces we don't fully understand. Sounds like a dare to me. Oh my god. Alright, whatever. I'd be fucked if suddenly I'm gonna be the lone one with prudence and sun judgment in your badass pirate club if you really want to plunge your fist through some sort of hole in reality then be my guest oh god there's so many smiles there's so yeah mm, mm, there's so many smiles oh god mm, no. <laughs> eh, oh hands hands and a little mm. Mm. hand what hand? Remember these? Wait, no, I actually don't. Wait, when did they show up? What? Out. <laughs> horn, horn pointy, pointy horn. I don't think they were there, no? I don't remember that. Question mark? They weren't there, okay. 
Uh, hand. Sky hand. Pixels. Gotta touch pixels. These pixels are so thick. Pixel be dummy thick. I think they showed up in the early days before we were using the collection. Ah, oh, okay. Oh. <gasps> Stop stuck. I can see it. It says thick C. It's a thick K. Oh shit! <gasps> what? 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 Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, what? Uh, oh, almost got hurt there. Ah! <laughs> Everywhere. Oh, eh. Ah. Ah. But where was it? Oh, here. <laughs> uh, here. And here. Holy shit, it's it's kind of cool to like see it all the like look at all these panels again, even though it's just like a little arm. <laughs> it has has this arm been added? It's it's not been early in the comic, right? They have arms in the now. Oh, okay. So it's like basically in the collection, it changes that uh, the panels have arms now. That's hilarious. Arm, arm. Oh, Tavros! Tavi! Uh, arm. Man! <laughs> Acrius. Arm. <gasps> Touch the tentacle! Collection simulates if the update had come out as you were reading. Uh, okay. More arms? Oh, arm. Uh, arm! Let's just go to the site. The arms are always there since it already happened. Ah, okay. Okay, that's cool. I mean, I'm glad that. Oh no, Tabby. Where's the arm? There's arm. Uh, arm. Oh. <laughs> uh, arm. Arm. Double arm. 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 Um, <laughs> she's put. Oh, this was such a good. This is such a good moment. <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> ah, simpler days. Obey. Arm. 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 These must have been kind of easy updates, honestly. Just, just grab like some old panels and add an arm. Good vacation time for Hussy, I guess. Uh, arm. Arm. People reading from the comic after this point would see the arm in there the whole time. Okay. Arm. Uh, arm. I'm very glad I got the advice to use the collection to read the comic early on. Like, I think second stream. Or first stream even, I w it was. Arm. 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 <laughs> Oh shit! Wow, oh, this is making me feel weird. Kind of like them being there the whole time. Hearing people wonder what they are and then hitting this real super good. Oh yeah, I, I mean it's, it's it's cool, but I also really like you know the 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 thing where it's like you know you reach a point and then you can't go back and then it is like changed forever. It I I I specifically like that. Tell me to get your hand out of there. You vaguely fuck your shit up in some totally ambiguous way. Oh. Ah! John? Damn it. <laughs> oh, she was waiting for the perfect moment and she missed it. Oh. Oh, poor Mina. <laughs> I 
Act 6, Intermission 5, Intermission 5. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Egg, right? Eggs. Oh, Gamzee, hello. Um, and then the fucking oven dude as well. This is literally what happened in Intermission 1. Eggs and biscuits, uh, yeah. I hate puppet people, 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 I hate puppet people. I hate puppet people, I hate puppet people, I hate puppet people, I hate puppet people, I hate puppet people. Puppet people? Puppet people! They're just calling in different things every time to bug me. They're puppet people! Why are they puppet people? I thought Frogman was going to be a preferred hat cannon. Because they're like bigger life puppets. How so? Their skin's soft. Soft? What do you mean? Soft isn't smooth to the touch, like the baby's behind. No, more like fussy and squishy. What? Like plush, you know, like goddamn puppet. Hold on, are you telling me these fuckers are literally made of felt? What's felt? Ah, that's why they're called the felt. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Kermit's. <laughs> It's the fabric they put on pool tables. Kind of soft and fussy. Oh, also makes sense. Uh, oh, then, yes, uh, exactly like that. Oh, that's weird. I guess you learn something new every day. Speaking of which, I suppose you'll want to tell me, uh, want me to tell you what those two frog puppets can do. What? <laughs> oh, as frog. This one doesn't show for me for some reason. Uh. No! <laughs> no. The abilities of purple stripe hat and orange stripe hat are as plainly self evident as they are idiotic. Patience. In time, you will grow to love him as if they were two very special sons. No way. Yes, you will. I can tell you kind of. You kind of like them already, but you're just pretending you don't. Uh, you don't to be cool. Like you always do with members of your dark carnival. I notice you aren't actually trying very hard to escape from the crowd there. Uh, looks to me like you're enjoying your time in a puppet wash pit, frankly. Screw you! Dave would not enjoy it. I'm going to tell you the powers anyway. No! Purple Strap has an egg timer juju which makes him time travel whenever it rings. But he's too stupid to use time travel sensibly, so he ends up making way too many copies of himself. Orange Stripe Hat has the magic oven, which he can hide inside, and that's it. It serves no purpose other than that, also he's just as dumb as X. I mean, Purple Stripe Hat. Forget I called him that again. Also pretend I didn't call the other guy Biscuits. You didn't call anyone Biscuits. I didn't? Uh, damn. Uh, then pretend I didn't say it. Did. I did. I don't care. I don't want to hear any of this. Oh, that was obvious. I've grown very of your excessive divulgences. Yeah, my divulgences haven't been too popular lately. I can't seem to catch a break. A what? A break. What's a yeah, eight or eight K? Nothing. Just something an old flame used to say a lot. Well, not so much an old flame as someone who callously spurned my extraordinarily inappropriate advances one time. She really blew it though. She could have been the star again if only she said yes. Things are pretty passive aggressive between us now. Women, am I right? No, don't do this. I, I don't want us to bond over your female problems. Stop trying to be bros with me. You know how it is. Sometimes a guy just wants to take a look at what an adorable Salomon is up to and scrutinize the situation carefully. Like, really see what's going on with that, you know? Is that so wrong? So, what if I want to watch a young Salamander spend several hours naming skeletons? It's my right to do that. I should be able to watch Bubbles name a million fucking skeletons if I want. I should be able to do that without a spiteful attention hawk stealing back the spotlight while she does something important. Who cares about important stuff? Important stuff is so overrated in my honest opinion. I stop listening. I don't even know what you're saying because I'm not reading it anymore. You can go ahead and babble all you want about meaningless trash. I've totally checked out of the conversation, so bye. I wonder what Spade Slick is doing right now. You are now Spade Slick. It appears that you'll be the focus of an exciting new subplot. That is, if everyone's okay with that. Um, you're not sure if... Is that allowed, you wonder? Is anyone going to throw a tantrum and make us look at something else? Leave me alone, you fucking creep! 
good news, good news spades. It looks like your subplot checks out. You have the green light whenever you're ready. Spades like us over Falcony at Horizon. Huh? Nani? Nani? There was some commotion here up here earlier. Also a nice rainbow. That guy flipped your bed over this balcony and you fell in the water like a thousand feet below. You had to climb all the way back up sopping wet. You think he said something about English? You don't see any sign of that rival mob boss, though. I'll have to investigate. You might not have much time to find him, though. The sun's setting on the horizon. What are all those things floating over the water? Can't quite make him out, even if you're an awesome cyborg guy, which can probably make you see better. Maybe. I'm not sure. I don't actually know anything about cybernetics, to tell you the truth. I just gave you a red eye because I thought it looked cool. I mean, character design, right? Looks like this asshole in the white wig is dead. Hey. Yes, the same asshole who nursed you back to hell even though he didn't have to. Oh, wait, no, it's Hussie. It's not Calliope. <laughs> it's Smith. Mistook it for Calliope. Yeah. Good, good, good. Looks like this asshole in the white wig is dead. It's the same asshole who nursed you back to hell even though he didn't have to. And even though he kind of promised he wouldn't do stuff like that, you. He kind of promised he wouldn't do stuff like that. By the way, I have some wake pledge involving a yellow ruler, but he saved your life anyway because his heart was just that big. He'll lot come. You weren't listening to any of that because you don't care. Mm, typical. Take wand. Yeah, I'm not gonna take. <laughs> yeah, it's Husky costing as Calliope. Yeah. Fooled me for a second. You're gonna take the wand because obviously magic is fake. Come on. What sort of buffoon would you try to be of that thing under any circumstances? Uh, or circumstance. Singular. Um, considering how many times it has been brought up that magic is fake, I wonder if it's gonna play a big part in, you know, the story later on. You will ever take the horns. They'll make a nice trophy. You always thought taking trophies from guys you killed was a cool idea, or at least from guys you wish you killed. Well, who you happen to find dead. Investigate. Mm. Upgraded that rifle, I see. This appears to be the murder weapon. Looks like English was the trigger man, then ditched the weapon by the body for some reason. You've never seen the guy, but you heard he carries a big overpowered gold machine gun. Ugh. Pimp. Pretty garish in your view. The man has no subtlety whatsoever. Yeah, no. Subtlety is not his strength. You and he sure have different styles when it comes to running an organized crime outfit. You honestly think he might be some sort of huge man-child? Hmm. Why did you ditch, ditch the gun? Ditch the gun. I want you to say ditch the gun. <laughs> yeah, good question. I wonder. And honestly, I think you might be right. Equip. You take the golden Q staff. Oh, holy crap! This thing is huge. Good thing you have a have robot arms now. The weapon weighs several hundred pounds, but yeah, I mean, if it's like gold, then it's very heavy. Uh, the weapon weighs several hundred pounds, but to a hulk like him, it's light as a feather. And to a cyborg like you, it's light as a slightly heavier feather. Search for English. <gasps> Miss Paint! Man, how sweet would it be if you could use his own weapon against him when you get your revenge? Hey, who goes there? Uh, of course, it's a cute little dame who tended to you while you were bedridden. Her soup was so delicious. Well, what are these dumb horns doing on your head? Those don't belong there. You toss them on the ground and stomp on them nonchalantly. She's shaking like a leaf. She must be terrified. You're sure her there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Everything's gonna be okay. The asshole in the white wig is dead. Interrogate Miss Paint. Mm, now that you've settled her nerves down. Wow, hot to the background, huh? Hot, hot, hot. Any more hot? No. Now that you've settled her nurse down, which she haven't actually, you ask her where the guy who did this went. She says she doesn't know. He's been hiding since she, he smacked her across the face with his cane. You say he did what? Why? Uh, uh why? I auto. She, she says she he thinks he's probably gone now. You say, oh, uh, any idea which way he went? She says, no. You say, hmm, any idea what she might be doing later? She asks, what, what do you mean? You say, any dinner plans or... Hey, Slick, what exactly are, are your intentions towards Mrs. Payne? You could at least wait until the blood is dry before making your move. I know you've always had your shitty cybernetic eye on her. That's the same eye. That's probably just use this piece of red glass overlapping an otherwise perfectly healthy eye. Yeah, that one. Oh, fuck it. Who am I to stand between you two? You obviously make an adorable couple. 
I should have let my rotten luck with the ladies rain on your parade. That's it, I'm calling it. I'm declaring your ship to be officially canon. Oh, don't fuck this up, Slick. Wow, they're canon. Holy shit. What? Shipping! I want to ship some goes like, <gasps> ah! Personal, she says. Uh, yeah, you say. Yeah, personal items. What items, she wonders? Wait, did I, did I miss some? No, I didn't. Inquire, I inquire about persons. Personals, she says. Yeah, you say. Your personal items. What, ide what items, she wonders? You know, all the shit you had on you before a guy turned you into a damn robot. Uh, like your head and stuff. Oh, yes. She knows exactly where all that is. Polo. <gasps> They're holding hands. They're cannon! She says this way. But please try to be quiet in case the green beast is still nearby. This pain to retrieve personals. <gasps> Athwa! Athwa! She leads you to one of the mansions, several dozen pantries, and retrieves your box of stuff. Here you go, she. Here you go, she says. Hort. Also, <gasps> there were more hort. So many hort. Oh shit! Cool hat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember he got that. Uh. What is this? The Midnight Crew? Oh. Knife. That was a little worse for the wear, but she took it to the tailor to have it repaired. Tailor? What tailor, you say? The one that appears when you pull this pin from the little doll? She said she put the pin back, though. Because the man was rather grouchy and unpleasant. Uh, wait a minute. Of course, the doll. Take the doll. Welcome, Rice Smuggle 9. No, you decided to hang on this thing for a reason. Pull pins. English has no idea what he's in for. You can't wait to see the look on his face, even though the look on his face is always pretty much the same since he's a skull monster. Uh, yeah, better leave the black one in, though. Pulling that one could have some really weird co consequences. Command minions. Wow. Yeah, there's a lot of them. <laughs> you tell all these mugs to listen up. This gang is now under a new management. A surly mob of puppet people look up and <laughs> look you up and down. I thought they were leprechauns! God damn it! <sighs> Glance at your cute stuff and shrug. Yep, get in your boss. They appear to tacit, tacitly confirm. Miss Paint, you say? There's a vacancy in the gang's eighth spot. You got anything more suitable to wear? She claps her hands and says, Oh, yes! She has just a dress for the occasion. She says, Get it back! Consult with brains of operation. Oh yeah! Oh, it's Shade's dress. You say, hey you, wise guy in a maroon hat. What was his name again? Uh, some weapon shaped like a seven. Boomerang? No, it wasn't it. Your memory is failing you. Might have taken one blow to the head too many when that universe exploded. Hey, why did that universe explode again? Can't recall for the life of you. Crowbar. What? Crowbar is his name. The guy says. Oh, yeah, that's right. Now you remember, you used this crowbar as a, wh a while ago to smash a prize's clock to pieces. You have a crowbar, he asks. No, he lost track of it. Any idea where it is? No clue, you say. Damn, he says. <laughs> Miss Payne. <laughs> oh yeah, eight. You ask him how they can get out of here. Go somewhere to regroup and make some plans. Fetch some schemes. Maybe draw a map or two. Preferably in a hideout. He says he can lead you back to one of the gang's old haunts. You say after you then. He says, hey, yeah? What happened to the old boss, he wonders? Is he dead or something? He say, none of your damn business. I'll get moving. A crowbar, lead gang back to hideout. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> the yardstick. <laughs> For here, crowbar says. Hey, what's this thing? Uh, what's this thing? Clover asks. Nothing you say. You think the idiot who used to live here was doing some sort of science experiment? Pretty much, Miss Payne says. Don't. Don't touch it, you say. It'd be a death trap. Clover pulls his hand away quickly. He looks worried. Guy asks if he can have his duel back. You say, of course not. Shut up. He looks crestfallen. Oh, yeah. Go through fifth wall. God damn, it's hot in here. AC must be broken or something. I think a lot more is broken, honestly. Oh yeah, also, uh, mm, green, 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 green. Exit this weird little girl's room. I leave Damara's room and 
great Caesar stuff wound. What is even going on here? Crowbar, where the hell are you leading us, you ask? He says, it's the dog's old apartment. Really posh digs. Prime location, too. At least it was before the universe exploded. Why are there giant holes in the walls through which, uh, which can be seen an abundance of blinding green plasma, you inquire? He says, because the apartment is now floating somewhere inside a huge sun. Sun, you say? Well, shit. I wonder it's so hot you could cook breakfast on your cranial plates. Hiding out in the middle of a big sun doesn't sound like a real tenable predicament. Does it, Crowbar? No, boss. He supposes it does not. Sounds like it's actually kind of a shitty predicament, doesn't it, Crowbar? Yes, boss. He supposes it does. A predicament defying any sense of reason, safety, physical comfort, and most files of science, probably. You wouldn't know about that, boss. You'll have to ask a scientist. You've got a sassy mouth on you, Crowbar. You say to Crowbar. A real sassy mouth. He says, if you don't want to stay, that's fine. There are contingencies in place. Contingencies, you say? He says, dark, sweet, as suit or sweet? I think it's sweet. Sweet! And an emergency exit which the gang could flee through whenever things got too hard to handle. I love the way the dialogue's written in second person, whatever sticks around the end. <laughs> sweet! Yeah. Circumstances, he says, which never once presented themselves until now in the most literal way possible. Yeah, yeah, you say. Because of the sun. Yes, he says, because of the sun. Well, what are you waiting for, Crowbar? Keep leading the way. Crowbar, keep leading the way. Hold up, you say. You're not sure about this Crowbar leading the way business. Who's the leader here? The smart mouth or you? He says you, of course. But we don't know where the exit is, you say. Bullshit. Even if you've been here before, you know this place like the back of your hand. You show him your hand, which is now mostly unfamiliar to you because it's made of metal. You put your hand down quickly because that didn't serve your rhetorical purpose at all. It's as if you insist. Uh, the exit is in the room with the clock in it. Do you remember where that is? I say, what do you look like, a moron? Of course you remember. Then after you, he says. After you. <laughs> it's obviously down here. Through one of these doors, watch and learn, buddy. Open door. <gasps> the wolf! The wolf! Ah! Dot, dot, dot. That was not the right door. Never mind. Just take us to the exit, crowbar. He says, yeah, sure. Proceed. <gasps> wow. I remember this room. It was when everything was fucking green in the background, and I had to look at the banners, and there was something going on in the, in, in the pictures, and there was something going on in the text. I was completely overwhelmed. Oh shit. Hope that shit doesn't happen again. <laughs> you leave the- Oh, it was there too. <laughs> mm. Some battlefields. You need them up for a few more of these weird skinny panels. <laughs> They are weird skinny panels. Some of the guys get distracted over there in the lounge. Just a quick match of table stick ball. A fun table stick ball. A fun game they made up which is space in their heads. You tell them to quit playing pool and get over here. <laughs> table stick ball. They start laughing their asses off at the noob who doesn't know a game of table stick ball when he sees one. Hey, <laughs> you noob. Cobar shows like exit. So this is it, huh? You say. Why does he keep the exit in the room with the clock anyway? Crowbar says the exit is in the room with the clock because the exit is the clock. I say, you see, you look the clock up and down, it doesn't look the same as you remember. It was a lot fancier when you smashed it with the crowbar. You mean the crowbar? All purple and gold and ticking, as if deciding the fate of someone you don't know or care about. Someone who doesn't understand a golden opportunity when she sees it. This is what is it! Someone whose behavior may have been controversial and whose sentence apparently had to be arbitrated by a magic timepiece. Just as well you smashed it, that way nobody could outsource their judgment to the wording of the stupid clock. Yes, you definitely thought all that now. Wait, what happened to the pendulum? The ball thing, you mean? Robar says it's, it broke, you see. Alright. Anyway, none of that matters now. How are you supposed to exit through this thing? Guess you have to open it? Yes, he says. How, you say. He says, oh, you know, gotta pry it open. If only they had a tool with which to pry, perhaps a tool which is notorious for its prying ability, which also happens to be its sole purpose. You wouldn't happen to know where such a tool might be, would you? He asks. No, he supposes not. There he goes again with that smart mouth. No, nothing but sass from this guy. You're starting to miss your old right hand man, at least when he got sick of your shit. He would just turn around and light a cigarette. Briscoe still asked mad about earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Punch clock. 
punch, punch, punch. Oh, there. Crowbar, schmobar. How the hell are you gonna squeeze all these big glutes through that skinny ass door? Wait, you might have an idea. Wasn't there a guy from, with an oven? Where's the guy with the oven? Hey, oven, get over here. Crowbar whispers his name is actually Biscuits. You don't give a fuck. Biscuit seems to understand he's being summoned and waddles over. Yep, there's his magic oven. Wow, what dumb juju. Should come in handy for once, though. Everybody in? No. Oh. There they go. Everyone in the oven, let's go, let's go. Oh, uh, why? Is, well, <laughs> oh, does, <laughs> uh, does it or does? <laughs> Slow as per usual. I want the oven, let's go, let's go, move, move, move. Iggy, Slowpoke. Oh, what's his face? Yes, you too, Miss Payne. Uh, yes, you too, Miss Payne. Clover, Shark Guy, Top Hat, get in there. Crowbar, you can mouth off all you want, just do it in the oven. But <laughs> Stitch Face, Fatty, Fireman, uh, the Centaur Butler? Yeah, what the hell coming in? You can be the Team Master or something, plus his smoke was fucking great. Ugh. Ugh. Biscuits, other biscuits, big guy, bigger guy. Oh, that should do it. Okay, oh, I can replay. Take oven. 13, huh? Pick up the 13 of stars card. What? Cards don't go up to 13. Stars ain't a real suit either. These guys really are a bunch of whack jobs. Whatever, you just slip it in the deck. Time to go. Wait, before you go. Oh yeah, because his, um... Oh, I'm so glad I reread Intermission 1 because his, uh, capture lock modus is, uh, things turn into cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, before you go. Oh, <laughs> again? <laughs> uh, perfect. Exit. What the shit? Oh. Hmm. Horror Terrors. This was his secret escape hat. You see, it's all so clear now when things get too hot to handle. The dog and his posse dug out, out of the clock and into the idiot bacon for for a little spin through infinite oblivion with some giant octopus things. Thanks for the tip, Crowbar. Thank you so very fucking much. It's a server, uh, what English Virus was. Oh. Hang on a minute, what's that? What's that? Could it really be? You don't need a fancy robotic guy to tell you what that is. You know exactly what that is. It's the fucking jackpot. Oh. He has a chat pack out of his ass. Mm. Not not. Not not. <laughs> oh, there's a uh, union check. Spade slick. There is Dirk. Dirk. What time is it? Oh yeah, I still have some time to read. Probably not gonna do go for too long today, but a little longer. So yeah. Oh shit, Zap! It's gone! It looks familiar, it looks familiar! Oh! Zap's into one of the buildings, huh? Zap! There he is! Oh shit! Ah! Uh. <laughs> I love John! <laughs> Zap! Can't control it, huh? There he is! It is him! It is really here! He's really here! Twice! <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. I have each of these pounds on mysterious close to letters added to the related pounds. Oh! Okay. Zap. Boom! Oh. That's when she lost her arm. And I... Ugh. A gulp. Yeah, stop into something here, huh? Sap. Oh, the volcano kiss. Zip. <laughs> snork, snork. <laughs> hey, John, don't be homophobic, okay? But I, I mean, I guess it's, it's a head lesbian kiss, so I guess it's less being homophobic and more like, uh, <laughs> that's some weird shit. Those are some good expressions. Oh. Hmm. Zap. Keys! <laughs> oh, no. 
Dolores, I fucking love the spell. It's very good. Keys. Protect the grub. Sap. Oh, it's the Chagula Day fight. Let's try it. Zip. Oh. Zip. Oh. Funny, huh? Zip. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad that Hussy can't, like, <laughs> retrospectively put John in the movie. <laughs> there must be a Homestuck edit of the movie. There must be. Like a, a full as length movie with just this thing being in inserted with, which is the homestuck edit that must be something like that rolling eyes at the rolling head oh no <laughs> he cry what are these expressions these are done by guest artists right sap act six in the mission five in the mission six no shit I did it! I conquered the Marine Stripe Planet, thus unlocking the final and most powerful Toad Goblin of all. Wow, he's so perfect, so you're so strong! I love him at being strong. Finally, the ideal minion with the type of power I admire the most. Oh yeah, Toad Goblin. <laughs> it's just being a huge, strong guy with enormous, powerful muscles. Yes! Ah, uh, yeah, I also got Green Stripe Head. He's good too. And that he's also large and relatively strong. I mean, well, and don't tell me what they do. All I care about is that they're big and strong. Do not spoil my moment of triumph with more of your human monkey earth business. What? Nothing to say? He's dead, I'm sorry. <laughs> or dare dad. Dare dead. Gotta update. Gotta, gotta update the pronouns yes this is good you're finally learning who's boss and soon everyone else will too now i have to conquer the black planet this one's a different thing from the others my sources tell me about which i mean the clown tells me but this planet has been claimed by that this planet has been claimed by the black queen herself i will need to overthrow her to win as such in a stroke of brilliant cleverness my brain devised an idea i have recruited check noir to help settle our mutual mutual score Really, getting Chuck to do, to do violent things for me always strikes me as such a good plan. So I might as well just do it always, rather than always thinking of new stuff, which is hard to do. He would make a good friend, is if the concept of friendship wasn't hard and meaningless to me. Therefore, I will think of a way to dispose of him once his usefulness is over. It's bad form to leave Ray Noirs wandering around. And don't tell him I said any of this. My treachery to him is meant to be a surprise. <laughs> Hello? Where the fuck did you go? Are you going to tell me what you think of my great plan? Or deride me in some fashion for my juvenile conduct and poor critical thinking skills? Oh, you unspeakably putrid and fatuous blabbermouth. I demand you to talk to me. <sighs> okay, I see how it is. You have decided you will no longer allow me to browbeat you into helping me through sheer force of petulance. It may surprise you to know I'm just as capable of respecting that. So I'm throwing a tantrum about it. I don't need you anymore. I don't need anyone. Boy. <laughs> oh, this is a weird caliber sprite. <laughs> oh, hey there, John. Uh, Spike. Oh, maybe he just got older. I don't know. <laughs> Intense stare down. I love this caliber face. It's so good. Intense stare down. Intense stare down. Intense stare down. Oh wow. We're zooming in even more. Intense stare down. Intense stare down. Oh shit, it's like cowboys. What? Oh shit. Oh, 
<laughs> John, pow! There he goes. <laughs> He's flying. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh shit, my curse is Sean. Oh my god, this reminds me. When I was a kid, you know how you can like uh, make your cursor look like something else? I would literally, as a kid, I would have like just grabbed this GIF and like used it as my actual like cursor on a computer on the Windows system. <laughs> I did this all the time, like change my cursor to something else and it was kind of dumb. And you couldn't really like click shit anymore, but then I thought it was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> End of Act 6, into Mission 5, into Mission 6. <laughs> Zap! Oh. What? Oh wait, let's do something else. It was just... Oh yeah, it was, it was just him. Zap it back. Oh. The, the, that's just made... Wait here. Hello? Is anyone here? Uh, or there? Jade? Nana? Jaspers? Ace, right? Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Regular Dave? Where is everyone? I, I imagine this has like an echo. It's like, where is everyone? Where is everyone? <laughs> Get the idea. This sucks. Dot dot dot. <sighs> yeah, unfortunately, John, everyone's getting shit on by Connie's expertly planned trap double combo. Mm hmm. You chance upon the slap of the jaded fool's envy. You don't know how the, the slap is called that, but that's what the slap is called. It's like a good spot to decompress after your strange ordeal through cannon space. Oh shit. Check. PM. Phew! Meteor is closing in. Oh, just fine by, huh? Oh shit! <laughs> oh no, Rose. <laughs> ah, card cat, my good boy, my sweet boy. There's way too many jacks. There are, but I mean, there's a couple sessions, so mm, and every session has a jack, so mm. card cat Anki. I mean, always he always scream. So has anyone figured out how we're actually gonna stop this meteor, or was three years not enough time to solve that problem? No, we haven't. Oh my god. We're still traveling at the speed of light and we only seem to be picking up steam. I don't think that's possible, dude. In fact, I'm not sure we were ever traveling at light speed. I think maybe there's been some bogus science circulation that we've been jumped into getting behind. What? Just saying. No, I'm I'm just saying. We all we came all this way and we're all going to die. Tracy looks happy. That's that's true. Did it be? Did it be? Uh, I don't believe this. How could we not have thought this through better? It's like the Reckoning versus 2.0 or 3.0 or... Oh wait, maybe 4.0 if I counted the before sessions. Ah, fuck the sentence I'm saying. How could it all boil down to yet another meteor hurling towards Gaia, serving as the harbinger of our imminent demise, except this time we're riding the fucking harbinger. Or harbinger? I don't know. Which is ironic when you think about it. We were brought into this life riding a meteor. It makes sense that that's how we all got God. <laughs> Man, pull it together. This thing is to have some escape pods or something. Teresa's moving in radius face now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that shit. Where? I never saw any. Maybe they were being stored in the hypergravity chamber. They have a hypergravity chamber. Where? Alright, you guys, maybe we could just sort of hop up and, like, fly away. Why you abhorrent column of smarmy filth? You always didn't know how to rub salt into, wound, into the wound. What about those of us who can't fly? You know I can't fly and you know it's a sore subject for me. I swear to God, this meteor is one of those baby on board things on the back. But like a grub instead of a baby from Max Fidelity to the gag trolls with C. I know you can't fly, dude. Obviously I would just carry you or something. I'd rather fucking die. 
No worry, guys. I have a feeling everything's gonna work out. Oh, should I fuck up? Bark? Oh, bark. Mmm, bark. Woof, woof. Dude, did, did you just bark? What? No, I didn't bark. I thought it was you. Why would I bark? Why, why the fuck would I bark? Because you're having a mental breakdown. Why don't you have a mental... Go fuck yourself! Or or wait, then use your alleged time powers to make a copy of yourself and turn this audacious fantasy into a sensual reality. Uh... Bark. There! There, there it was again! The bark happened again! It wasn't me. Who the fuck is barking? Am I to do bark? Fucking with us, Mariam? Yes! Tracy, was it you? Arr! What is it? Why are you looking at? Maybe the mayor bark. May mayor, was it you? <laughs> I bet it was. But I love the mayor. He's a full of surprises. Oh shit. Mmm, it's not the mayor. Ah. It is Jake. Oh, 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 Gamsey, hello. Mm hmm. What Terry is he saying? <laughs> hey, Pianki. Hey, guys. Wait, like, I don't have an expression for that. Hey, guys. Long time no see. Oh. <laughs> oh, I remember that. Oh, shit. Uh, Taste for adventure, Seth Peel. Loud. Wait. Sorry. There we go. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh, the others are question marks. Oh, oh I did it. Are you still? Sprite. Sub. War. Oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, a flop? What? Pop? Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Oh, ironing his pants. Hell yes! Ah, hell fucking yes! Oh, what's your funnier? Oh, you like funnier again? Oh. it again <laughs> one more time <laughs> oh no well at least that entire you know uh meteor problem is solved like how do we get off the meteor mm -hmm. if jay just teleports them all together now the music is nice The other trolls are just like, mm, I don't know what they look like. Probably it's not that they're in the middle of nowhere and checks, but I have no idea what to do, yeah. Oh, Aerosol Sprite leaves again. I didn't notice that earlier. <laughs> the blind. Spit bubble. Uh, 413, ah, uh, I see. Oh, it was like a, um, squidless mouth. Nice house. <laughs> I like this image. <laughs> He's like, ah! Very good. It is a good flash. I really like this one. 
It's short, but really fun. Oh boy. Oh god. Okay, let's go for a little longer. Uh... Ah! <laughs> Oh, that's cute. I'm luck dating some Namco High. Oh, I remember you guys mentioned that. Hmm, or should I stop here? No, I want to go for a little longer. Is it long? Is the next part long? Uh, happy boy. Very good. I like it when the boy happy. He happy to see his friends. Very good. Oh yeah, shit! I just realized he hasn't seen them in like forever. And how he fucked even though even for okay, let's let's just continue. End of year for 4.13.09 to 4.13.13. Man. Does this have sound? Oh, remove this too. <laughs> <gasps> the next disc? What? 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 Uh, what do I click? Do I click? Do I click something? We don't have another disc. We don't have another disc! Oh shit! <gasps> do I just click next page? Or is there something to click here? I don't think so. <gasps> can't click anything. There's no hand! I can't click! Okay, I guess I'll just continue then. Oh, jump, 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 Caliborn. Caliborn! Into this creek. <gasps> it's the circles! Oh my goodness. What, how, what is he gonna do? Oh my god, I can't read this! I can't! Wait, I have a trick. Oh, <laughs> there's no disc screen. Uh, it didn't make the screenshot anyway. <laughs> There is no disc for you, asshole. Oh. And, oh. Okay, guys, Homestuck is over. I'm very glad I read this. Um, Kind of abrupt ending, honestly. But I guess we had kind of a happy ending because John reunited with his friends. It's very cliffhangery because I mean, we don't know what happened to Jade there. And there was still a lot of open stuff. But maybe, maybe it's going to continue in, I, I don't know, Homestuck 2, which is a thing, I guess? I haven't really looked into it yet, but I heard it's a thing. Mm -hmm. But I guess we're done. <laughs> I guess I read Homestuck in its entirety. <laughs> wow. I never thought. I never thought I'd get this far. We are free. <laughs> it's all over. Okay. Oh. Nah! <laughs> I kind of feel like this is a good stopping point, honestly. Unless I can read the next part in like 30 minutes or so. But this would be a perfect stopping point. <laughs> because Homestuck is over, right? <laughs> Rest in peace, Homestuck. Pussy's dead. This is the best stopping point, okay? <laughs> I mean, I kind of wanted to do a shorter stream today. I'm supposed to start off a two-month hiatus, okay? Which is, like, fitting because, you know, I plan to either do a break next week um, or read something else. Wasn't this the Giga Pause start? <laughs> Man, waiting two months uh, on this page must have been a, quite a thing. But yeah, uh, next week I'm either going to do a break um, or if I do a stream next week, it, it's just my vacation ends after this week. And I do not know yet how I will work next week, so um, I'm I'm gonna notice later on at this uh, at some point. So I can't really say yet if I'm gonna stream or not. But if I stream next week, it's gonna be problems, Luke. Now I remember when the server was reading other things. Yeah, like problems, Luke. I uh, wanted to like also check out because I have jailbreak still open. I want to check out the blog, the Tumblr blog. I want to read Problem Sleuth. Uh, so this might be a good break. <laughs> Reading other things, seriously. 
<laughs> I'm gonna leave homestead forever and ever. This is what I'm gonna stream over and over again. If I'm done with homestead, I'm just gonna read it again. <laughs> because I can't ever read anything else again anymore ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm here forever. Yeah, yeah. I am. I. My brain has been very much full of homestead lately. I just. I have been drawing a lot of shit, but I have not shared a lot of it, so... <laughs> Homestuck at infinitum. Yeah, I'm gonna stream this until I die like Hasi did. <laughs> the end is never the end. Oh god, Caliborn, you goddamn gremlin. So yeah, um... Next week, Monday... Uh, I'm just gonna stop here. This is a perfect stopping point, as you already said. Next week, if I do a stream, um... It will be Problem Sleuth or Jailbreak or something. Uh, we'll find something else, even though it's gonna be very hard for me to open this here and, <laughs> you know, not continue reading, but I kind of want to space it out a bit more. I want to save our homestuck for a little longer, so... Um, it's a good point, I guess, to just look at other stuff that is related to homestuck. So yeah, um, I'm gonna end the stream here. Uh, once again, thank you guys so much for being here, for telling me cool trivia, for just hanging out. I will write it into the title of the stream. Uh, so when you go to my page and just check out the, the offline image of the stream, you will see in the title if I'm going to stream on Monday uh, next week or not. I'm going to type it in there as soon as I know my shift. And other than that, I just hope you're gonna have a great week. Um, and I will see you maybe next week, maybe in two weeks. We'll see. Have a great rest of the day, night, whatever time it is where you're at. And thank you so much for hanging out. Boner. <laughs> yes. Boner, 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 boner. Bye bye. <laughs>